action. Hi guys, I'm Amanda Howe for Pop Flix. We are here at the Griffith Park Train Depot and we're reviewing the movie Super 8. It takes place in 1979 in a small town in Ohio and a young kid named Joe has just lost his mother tragically to an accident and he and his absentee father are trying to develop a relationship. It's also a summer vacation and he and his best friends decide that they're going to be filmmakers and they're going to go out and use their Super 8 camera and create a movie. They need their perfect shot though and it has to be on a train tracks and it has to be at midnight because that's when there is no train scheduled. So what happens when a train suddenly starts to come down the tracks? Go watch the trailer. I've got nothing against your friends. I like your friends. You know, things have obviously changed for us. I have to help Charles finish his movie. It'd be good for you to spend some time with kids who don't run around with cameras and monster makeup. Uh, could you close your eyes, please? Yeah. And action! An eastbound freighter derailed what the cargo was on that freighter. We don't know. We can't tell anyone. I know. I understand you have concerns about our cargo. Colonel, there isn't anything else that I should know, is there? I can assure you the answer is no. We've got calls from people who found local dogs, but the calls coming in aren't local. Lucy! It's like they all just ran away. I've got property damage. I've got theft. I've got nine people missing now. There are things happening around here that I can't explain. We have to find this thing. I don't feel good about this. Go! I saw it. No one believes me. I believe you. What the hell? So as you can see, the train is coming down the tracks. There's a van coming to meet it. As there's this huge explosion, something, can't tell you what, escapes from one of these train cars. And from there, the entire town is in disarray. And the father who is also the deputy of the town, has to step in to try to save it. Played by Kyle Chandler from Friday Night Lights. And uh, I can't tell you anything else without giving anything away. But what I can tell you is that J.J. Abrams, writer-director of this film, set out to create an homage to Steven Spielberg. And he did it. Steven Spielberg is also the executive producer of this. It's really refreshing to leave the theater with a film that is well thought out. There is, it's not like you're sitting there watching two hours of CGI with bad dialogue and no character development. And there are special effects, of course there are, but they're well planned. And because the entire story works so well together, you can kind of forgive some of those tiny plot holes that may come up within the film. And the thing that Steven Spielberg was always great at and that J.J. Abrams is following in his footsteps for is casting brilliant child actors. All of those kids do an amazing job. Elle Fanning, Dakota Fanning's little sister, is magnificent. They all do so great. Bravo to all of them. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 popcorn bags. I thought it was a perfect film. Go check it out. I'm Amanda Howell. You're watching Pop Flicks. I gotta go catch my train. So.